So we are here with two amazing screenwriters, two amazing uh, filmmakers. Tony Gilroy began as a screenwriter. In 2007, he made his dynamic directorial debut with Michael Clayton from his original script. He wrote and directed Duplicity and is currently at work on Born Legacy for release in 2012. Raised in upstate New York, Gilroy was the son of Pulitzer Prize winning playwright and filmmaker Frank D. Gilroy. Terry George is a native of Belfast, Northern Ireland. He first came to New York in 1981. His first dramatic work, The Prison Escape Play, The Tunnel, was the first of numerous collaborations with writer-director Jim Sheridan. In 1992, George and Sheridan wrote In the Name of the Father. The film was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Screenplay. In 2004, he wrote and directed Hotel Rwanda. And uh, we should also mention that your film was nominated for four Academy Awards. Clayton? Yes. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's start with, uh, with a category that I call BS, uh, which actually stands before screenwriting. <laughs> because, you know, they say life is where the stories come from. So just a little bit about before, before you were screenwriters. Uh, just talk a little bit about, you, about your life. I'll ask him first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, as, as the bio said, I, I grew up with a, uh, in a house with a, uh, a writer. He was a playwright, and I, uh, he worked as a in live television and he worked in the studio system and he became a Broadway playwright and then he became an independent filmmaker. I grew up in all that. Um, it wasn't something that I was really involved in. We were kind of removed from it. We grew up in upstate New York, we saw all of it. And uh, I was a musician and uh, I left home really very young, 16 years old and, and I moved to Boston and I played in bands for a number of years and I gradually got more interested in, uh, less and less interested in music and more interested in writing songs and writing stories and trying to write novels. and. Um, I really thought that screenwriting would be an easy buck. You know, I thought oh, I'll do this really quick and make some dough. And I, it took me a long time to figure out how to do it. And I attended bar for about six years while I figured out how to become a screenwriter. And uh, and then, like everybody, you know, like uh, uh, sold things and then tried to get movies made and then tried to get a good movie made and then tried to get a good movie made that made money and you know the whole progression. But but I was. Uh, um, I did lots of different jobs. I always worked. I had lots of crazy different jobs to pay the rent. And I was a very busy young man trying lots of different things. Um, and this was the easiest, this was the easiest <laughs> thing I was good at, <laughs> I guess. And, and I as you said earlier, uh, some place where they, where they seem to like you. Yeah, I think we were talking about that before. I mean, yeah. you, you, people, you're, you're, you're talking to your son. I mean, it's, you know, it's, you're, you're like water. You know, you, you, you go where people like you and you, you gravitate towards the things that that um, people tell you you're good at, and whether it was whether it's genetics or 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 atmospherics, growing up with a writer, or uh, I don't know what it is, but when I finally started doing that, I was like, wow, this is this all made sense to me, and it felt like all the bizarre jobs and all the things that I'd done, and all the obsessive newspaper reading, and all the various odd self-educational things I'd done, they all were leading to this this very weird, unusual job that we have that requires you know, that looks so easy but has so many weird little uh, important skill sets in it. I was like, wow, this is, it, I was more prepared for this weird thing than I had thought. Uh, and so, Terry, your journey, I think maybe in some way we started writing at the same school, although on yeah. opposite ends, you know, I yeah, spent no, time I think in, we did. I spent time in prison because of uh, yeah. my involvement in the Black Panther Party where I started writing, uh, you know, some poetry and then some plays and, um, uh, you were a political youngster too, weren't you? Yeah, I was, um, you know, caught up in the troubles and um, jailed twice, jailed lots of times, but for lengthy periods of times twice. Uh, in 1972, for like three months, and then in 1975 for three years. Uh, and I was in a place called Long Cash, which was essentially a prisoner of war camp. They, they called it political status then, but it was a prisoner of war camp and, uh, and in the, the, the compound, the cage as they called it, I was the education officer. So it was that whole prison education and then I met a lot of journalists in Northern Ireland um, at the height of the troubles, particularly what, during the hunger strike period. And when I came to New York, um, one of, two of them, Pete Hamill and Mike Daly got me a job as a uh, fact checker at New York Magazine. 
Um, and from that, I went to work for Pete Hamill and Jimmy Breslin and uh, Peter Mass and Noel Ben and these fantastic writers. I became their researcher. Uh, uh, and then a woman called Shane Alexander, and I worked to work for her on a on a on a a case called the Pizza Connection. And in the middle of it, Shane's daughter committed suicide, and I ended up pretty much taking over the book. Uh, and at the same time, I decided to write play to write a play about a prison escape that I had participated in in Northern Ireland, and that and took it into a little theatre on uh, the west side, a place called the Irish Art Centre, and gave it to the artistic director, a guy called Jim Sheridan, and he put it on. He was the director. Um, and ended up being the lead actor, because the lead actor on the play decided it wasn't worth the train fare from Connecticut to act on the play. <laughs> and then Sheridan said to me, I'm going off to do this script in Ireland, and, and maybe I might direct it. And, he said, uh, it's about Christy Brown, this thing. And I said, oh, yeah, drunken Irish paraplegic. That'll be fucking great, you know? <laughs> and a year and a half, he phoned me from the Oscars and said, hey, do you want to come out and uh, hang out? So I sort of stumbled through all of this. I didn't, there wasn't any particular writer background, but I always felt a need to tell a story. So, the, and, uh, and from that, we just it just evolved. So, for the writers who are who are uh, uh, who are watching this and um, uh, need just a little bit of advice before we tell them stop now, go back to play go page to forty-seven work. of your screenplay. Man, what are they? Ass and chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it, I, I think the two. I don't know. The, for me, the two. Uh, the two things I always harp back on, I, all this stuff about craft and all the stuff about process and all the stuff about, you know, the mechanics and all the screenwriting books and all the different, you know, the sort of technical, mm. the, 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 the sort of technocracy of screenwriting. Um, some of it's valuable and, 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 and I, you know, I certainly spent a lot of time um, trying to figure out how to be a writer, being obsessed with form and format and all that stuff and, and I, I, can, I can go I can go uh, chapter and verse with anybody about that, but I think it's a really, I think it drowns out ultimately what is the, this I always just always harp back to this, I, I think it's, we never talk about imagination enough. We can't talk about imagination enough. The thing that we do that other people can't do is make stuff up and make it, up, make it up on demand and we can make it up um, and we can shape it and we can make it work in different ways. I think that's a really extraordinary, specific thing that um, uh, is, is so important. And I think that and, and to stay ambitious, to stay creatively ambitious, that's the other, I think that's the other really huge thing. Keep questioning all the time. What, you know, uh, what's this about? Why would anybody want Be cruel. To yeah. Be cruel. Oh yeah, it's I should have said that. I mean, yeah. self-delusion. Be cruel, really cruel. And it's cruel. hard. There's a, there's a, there's this fine balance between yep. self-delusion uh, and self-doubt, and nobody knows the answer to it. We've all seen examples of like the greatest, not self-delusion, collective delusion about things uh, that have appeared on the screen, and you wonder how the hell that happened. You know, these are all clever people. How did how did we end up with this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen the process and participated in it, yeah. and, you f and, and afterwards you're like, oh Jesus, I was part of that. But for for younger, right, like, what is this about? How am I telling the story? What's this scene about? Will anybody watch this? You know, what? Why? Why does this happen? Question all the time. It's never good enough. Yeah. It's just never good enough. You can have, like Tony says, you can have that moment where you think you've cracked it, but you better wake up the next morning and yeah. think, well, maybe I didn't crack it after yeah. all. I, I really always want to be, like, pushing the form. I want to push the way to do it. I want to, I want to, I, I, I think that there's a lot of, uh, I think that's a really, I think that gets lost in the conversation about screenwriting so much is, 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 is a creative ambition and uh, and. Uh, 
and a, and a respect for imagination. I don't think we have anywhere near enough Charlie Kaufmans. I don't know why we don't. I mean, that's somebody who I just, you know, I, I just, that to me is uh, whatever else you think. It's just push, 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 stay out there. I mean, push the form. So that, I, I just, um, those are the two things I would, I'd say, are you, are you really being ambitious enough? Right. And are you hung up on, don't get hung up on, on the seminar, man. Get, get hung up on, the, on, on making it up. The one thing that we have as writers that nobody ha else has is that we can work backwards. We're the only ones that can do that. But the one disadvantage you have is you will know that you will never get a fresh read of that story. It's lost to you the minute you start typing. But you can work backwards. Nobody else can do that. That's a fantastic thing. I think you just messed me up. I thought that before. <laughs> oh, i got to think about that, Terry. I don't know if I can work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, pushing, we my, know, pushing back my deadline. Listen, we know you're in Saigon, Manila. Where was the other one? That's a giveaway. Jakarta. That's a Nicky Fink. Born's going to end in. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know yet? I don't know. All right, we'll take that out. I don't know. <laughs>